Today I want to talk to you guys about different positions that you can put baby in and um, how to position baby for breastfeeding. Um, positioning baby really has a lot to do with how baby's going to breastfeed for you. Um, and I would like to use Hugo here, but he is very hungry and um, it would kind of be hard for me to show you the latches with him without exposing myself. So um, I'll kind of explain it to you and then I have a little baby doll here we'll use in a second as well. But um, with positioning baby, so there's a couple different things um, with that. So different positions, um, there is the cradle position where you hold baby like this. Um, when you're holding baby, um, here, let's set him down. Let's see if he'll take his bottle by himself. Okay, sorry about that. He was going to take his bottle down there like a big boy on the floor. Um, but, so we'll go over the positioning with our baby doll here. And then I have this um, crocheted breast that my wonderful Aunt Rosemary made for me. So we'll use this too. So there is the cradle positioning that you can do. Cradle positioning is just like this. And then you can use your other hand. Um, so one hand is all the way around baby. Your other hand you can use um, to hold your breast and to get baby into the correct positioning. Okay, so that's the first one is the cradle. Then there's the cross cradle, which you can use. Um, you just basically are switching hands. And then you can use, so you're supporting the back of baby's head this way, and you can use your other hand to kind of position the breast as needed. Um, another position that you can do is called the football hold. You can stack some pillows underneath for support, and um, you can hold baby like this, using your other hand to, of course, um, help position the breast for B. Now, with all of these positions, so um, the cradle, the cross cradle, the football hold, there's also a side line where if you're laying down on your bed, you can lay baby beside you. With that one, you need to be careful that A, you don't fall asleep with baby beside you, and B, that um, your breast isn't going to fall onto baby's face and suffocate them um, if you would fall asleep. So that position to me can be a little dangerous depending on if you're tired or not. So um, just be cautious with the positions that you're putting baby in. But um, with all of these positions, we really want baby's hands to be free. Having baby's hands free, they're able to touch the breast. They can help massage the breast with their little hands, which is going to help with that milk flow. It helps with your hormones, it helps with the movement of the milk, and it's going to get the milk to come out. So um, we always want their hands to be free. I had to tell a mom just the other day that because um, she had called out, she needed help with breastfeeding, and she had baby all the way swaddled like this. And baby was like, I don't know what to do. As soon as we let his little hands free and he had his hands on the breast, he latched right away. They want to be able to touch it and feel it. Um, the other thing is if you have the little mittens over their hands, take those off while they're feeding. They want their hands onto the breast. Um, so that's one thing with the positioning. The other thing is baby should always be facing when you're in these cross cradle positions. Um, belly to belly, nose to nipple is how you want to start baby out. Um, if baby is ever with belly face up and has their head turned to the side, um, that can be very hard for them to eat and swallow. Um, I want you all to try this. I want you to swallow just right now. And it's fine, it's normal, right? Turn your head to the side and swallow. 
it's a little harder to do. So can you see why your baby wouldn't want to breastfeed at that time? You might be struggling, like my baby won't won't latch, my baby doesn't want to feed. Well, it's because they're having a hard time swallowing. It's, it's a difficult position for them. So always make sure that their head is straight on, whether it's here, whether it's um, football position, whatever you're doing, they should, oh, Hugo burped. <laughs> um, <laughs> That was good milk, mommy's milk, huh? Um, they shouldn't have their head turned to the side, okay? So positioning should always be straight on. So like I said, tummy to tummy, nose to nipple is how you should start out um, with their positioning, okay? Um, so those are just a couple ideas with different positions you can do um, and how to hold baby. You also want to make sure that um, those are all good tips to help baby, tips to help you. You want to make sure you're never bringing yourself to baby. You should always bring baby to you because you're going to end up with a really sore back if you keep bringing your breast down to baby. So always bring baby to you and try to have support if you can. If you can stack some pillows underneath, there's all the different kinds of um, boppies and um, my breast friend, I think it's called, the different um, breastfeeding pillows. But um, just try to make yourself comfortable too because that's going to help you want to um, feed baby longer too is if you're comfortable. So good positioning tips for you and for baby. Um, so that's all I have for you guys as far as different positions to do and what helps. Um, I hope that helps you guys a little bit. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those below. Um, otherwise, watch my other videos here. I'm going to talk about how to latch the baby next. I'm going to also give you some different tips um, on what to do for clogged ducts, blebs, mastitis. Um, so we're going to talk here uh, with a couple other videos about breastfeeding continued. So. I hope that helps you guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Make sure you check out my other videos about milk supply and foods that can help with that, my success with breastfeeding, and make sure you check out um, my video on lactation cookies, and they're my favorite cookies, and they help with your breast milk too, so what could be better? So make sure you check out those videos, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.